Hey you guys, what's up? I'm here to do a quick message. Um, I'm on my way to do a quick workout session, but before I do, I was jamming some music like I always do. Um, and I was listening to the song, the channel song is Karma uh, by Summer Walker. Yeah, nice to be you. I'm sorry, yeah, it's okay. Yeah, <laughs> I'm just here to do my job. Nice to meet you. No running, please don't feel me. I'm just karma. Okay, so, um, and I always, I also was uh, flipping through my deck, my tarot deck, and um, ten of swords kept popping out. Okay, the ten of swords, <laughs> and. With that song, for some reason, something told me to pull a crystal, uh, pull a card from the crystal deck, and you guys, it was, it was Moldavite. And it's crazy how the Ten of Swords and Moldavite came out because it signifies uh, endings, okay? Endings, transformation, um, beginnings, okay? So some of you guys may have just broke up with someone or disconnected from uh, someone. This doesn't have to be romantic. Um but I'm getting that you guys may have been in some sort of um, connection or relationship with someone who probably wasn't friends with benefits, if not friends with benefits, just someone that you guys, uh, I'm say, is connected with uh, long term, okay? I'm getting friends, a sneaky link, friends with benefits, okay? Could have even been um, a relationship. Maybe you guys found out that this person was cheating, okay? Because whenever I get this this multiply, I do think of uh, the heart, okay? Um, transformation of the heart. Also, it is um, 35, okay? 3 plus 5 is 8. All about self-mastery, self okay? Um, cycles. Okay, so maybe you guys have been going through a cycle, a constant cycle with this person, you know? Them playing with your emotions, playing with your heart. Or if they're not doing this to you, if this was a friend, maybe they're playing with their... Uh, the people you guys uh, noticed or uh, I would say recognize certain behavior, toxic behavior in your friend. Maybe uh, listening to how they treat other people, okay? I feel like you guys are the complete opposite of this person. You guys have a different heart um, than this person. You guys may be a little more evolved, okay? Or a little more emotionally or, uh, yeah, I would say emotionally and, and, and mentally and, uh, more mature than this person, Okay. But I'm seeing that this person, when they when they met you, okay, the friendship and connection you have with this person, uh, they couldn't have predicted it, okay. I'm definitely saying that you guys hey have or played. I said have, okay, haven. They could have a mid haven, okay, in Taurus. I don't know why I'm hearing that mid haven in Taurus. Uh, maybe this person when they met you, you could have met this person at work, at a job, or you guys were. Uh, it's, it involves some sort of money, okay? Um, maybe through business, you guys do business together, but I know that you guys serve a significant purpose in this person's life, okay? Like I said, when they met you, they didn't know how important you would be um, in their life or what kind of role you would play. But I'm seeing that if this was a friend, you guys uh, could have seen this friend uh, mistreat a lot of people, okay? When it comes to love and also money because this person could have been uh scamming okay maybe a con artist okay a con artist or someone who loves to uh trick people okay they're known as a trickster um but you guys because you have the heart that you have you feel like okay something has to be done i'm saying that this is a friend um uh, maybe you guys played this person or maybe you guys ended up telling uh exposing this person to certain lovers okay if they were cheating on their lover um cheating on their spouse um or just disrespecting um, I would say people, even if they look at people as being uh, insignificant, like, oh, they're just a fling. They're just this, they're just that. If you guys are their friend, you guys are like, no, your behavior, what you're doing to other people is wrong. And you need to uh, basically fall back and, and fix that, okay? Improve that, um, recognize and acknowledge that this is not right, okay? It's time for you to make a change. And I'm seeing that this person, if it is a friend, okay, um, you definitely did something to them, Um but I'm seeing that you could have ended the relationship with them, okay? 
or like I said, even expose them or causing a lot of endings in their life. Maybe you guys haven't done it directly, but it could have been indirectly, okay? And if this person was stealing money, uh, maybe stealing money from their, their uh, job, okay? Embezzlement. Um, I'm seeing a lot of Taurus money, materialistic-wise. This person that you have uh, cut off from, you have uh, disconnected from, is definitely a person who was embedded and enmeshed, okay? I'm enthralled and wrapped up heavily into the material world. They're all about the money, about the finances, about sex, okay, money, rock and roll. I'm definitely seeing a, a person who is uninvolved, unevolved in some way, okay? So, yeah, this definitely could have been a friend. And for those of you who this is, uh, friends with benefits, um, this person, some of you guys, I, I don't want to say it, but you could have... Uh, pretended like you guys were uh, interested in this person more than you really were because they're known for being a player, a person who, like I said, is a trickster. There's something about this person that just it doesn't sit right with you, their energy. So whatever you guys did with them, maybe you guys uh, left them, took all their money and left, or you guys uh, treat them, okay? Maybe you guys, they thought that you were going to be I would say in a full-blown connection with them, but little did they know that you had a person in the side. They were actually your side piece, okay? Um, I'm, I'm, it's not funny, okay? But sometimes you guys, yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah. I ain't lying, okay? I'm like These cards ain't lying today, okay? Yeah, two of cups in reverse. Yeah, you guys are like, no, I'm not with you because you i think you guys realize um the toxicity within this person you realize this person was no good okay so maybe this person was um uh, thinking one thing about the relationship with you you kind of got them um wrapped up in your energy kind of got them to open up to you be vulnerable um something that they probably struggled to do because they've lived a life of uh i would say just a low vibrational life of a lot of shadiness and shiestiness, okay? Getting over on people, hurting people, treating people any type of way. And, um, you know, and you guys are like, no, you can't go through life doing that. So if you do that to other people, I know you're going to do it to me. So let me get your ass before you get me. And I feel like some of you guys may have done that for some of you who have. Um, maybe you guys are this person's karma. Definitely listen to, listen to that song. Um, I have the lyrics right here. I said, I told you, you better stay prayed up. You never thought the universe was looking for revenge. You can't keep just doing them girls like that, thinking that nobody finna bite back. Losing your mind, baby. Can't be sure time's wasting, okay? So you definitely could waste this person's time. Um, or if you guys are, oh, I don't know for some reason I'm hearing this. If you guys are this person's friend, okay? Um, I'm seeing that you could have definitely uh, set this person up with someone that you knew was going to hurt them, okay? Um, play matchmaker, maybe uh, introduce this person to someone they thought it was going to be a match, a perfect match, but you knew this person, you're like, hey, man, you, you've been, and if you guys, this, you guys are masculine, and this is your homeboy, okay? Um, <laughs> maybe you guys set this person up with someone that you knew was a gold digger, or you knew was a player too, okay? Like uh, getting two players to come together, and you're kind of sitting back laughing because, um, maybe this person had a good spouse, a good partner, and they were out here cheating. You guys knew it. Um, you guys didn't want to uh, be messy, but you guys are a little messy if you're if you're doing all this. Okay, don't you don't shy away from that messy side of you, that dark side. Own up to it now, okay? But maybe some of you guys, uh, I'm hearing, uh, saw that this person was mistreating someone they were with and you guys just thought it was so wrong. You felt like I can't really go against the bro code and tell, you know, their spouse, their significant other that they're cheating on them. So um, how about I just get their ass back? And and for some of you guys, you could have stole their person or you guys are having an affair behind their back with this person, with their person, okay? Um, To give back at them, okay? You guys, I feel like it's kind of justified. <laughs> yeah, you, you guys are definitely breaking someone's foundation up, okay? Yeah, four of wands. All about foundations, okay? Maybe you guys are in some way maybe having a, an affair, okay, with their person or um, secretly feeding their person information, okay? Yeah, you guys came in to this person's life 
um, to definitely teach this person a lesson, okay, about how to treat people, see? Yeah, you guys got the Eight of Cups in reverse. Wow. Yeah, I'm seeing that you guys could be uh, feeding this 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 partner, this spouse, um, information that they're not the only one, okay? They're, they're a foundation, their relationship, their marriage is not uh, solid, solid, okay? And um, the Eight of Cups in reverse is a stain, okay? Sticking with something, still being emotionally invested. Um, even though you left this person, okay, if you guys are, are the one who is uh, departing from someone, because like I said, you get the Ten of, of Swords uh, endings, okay? And with the motorbike, it's ending for a, a good reason. Um, for some of you guys who you left this person, okay, you took their money, left. Um, the biggest thing is that they're still emotionally involved and invested in you, okay? They're definitely hurting. Um, definitely going through what they put other people through, okay? So if you guys are trying to figure out, I wonder if, um, you know, your, your uh, I would say your mission is accomplished. It definitely is, okay? Because a part of them, they might be still calling you up, um, still searching for them. For some of you guys, if you took this person's money and just left, um, tricked them or is it whatever you did because you felt like this person deserved it, um, they're definitely still, uh, they can't get over it emotionally, okay? They're probably stalking you, trying to figure out where you are, um, asking their friends to go spy on you, but you guys have gone and ghost on this person, okay? I mean, uh, hey, you're just doing your job. You're just karma. Um, I am going to say that um, in life, people have to understand they can't go through life doing shitty things to people and expecting to have uh, great experiences after because no, 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 no. It's always going to be a price to pay. Okay, it's always going to be a price to pay. Okay, yeah, you guys are like, no, you thought I was nurturing, you thought I was sweetie, you thought I was a person that's going to uh, give you what you want, give you what you need. Maybe you came off really uh, sweet, okay, gentle um, at first to deceive this person. You guys uh, saw that they weren't a, a great person, so you guys probably had a plan to basically uh, make this person pay, okay, and answer to what they're doing to other people. Okay, almost like a Robin Hood type thing, okay? And if this is your friend, um, your homeboy, homegirl, and you see this person is out here playing with people's emotions, you know what I'm saying? Um, being emotionally manipulative to other people, having people hang on to them, okay? Having people hang on to them emotionally, uh, breadcrumbing people, promising them falsely, uh, Promising them to be in a partnership, knowing that they don't have the intentions of being with that person, okay? Some of you guys, as a friend, um, feel like it is so wrong, okay? You can't possibly be uh, connected, okay? Nine of Swords. Yeah, you definitely got this person up in their head. Like, damn, why would they do that? How do they be my friend? Why would they expose me to my flings, to my sneaky links? Why would they tell all my sneaky links about each other, you know? Why would they tell my spouse that I was cheating on them, you know? They're upset, okay? They're, they're trying to figure out uh, what will cause you to do something like that. And for those of you who you snuck away from this person, you know, um, play them, basically play them. Um, they're definitely in their head trying to figure out where they went wrong or how you were able to do whatever you did to them, okay? Yeah, you're definitely this person's karma, okay? They feel hopeless as shit, okay? 1333, it means something. It's something significant. I just saw on a timer. Star in reverse, yeah. Yeah, for some of you guys, this person definitely did deserve uh, what they had coming to them, okay? So, or if you, some of you guys feel like this happened to you, you know, you know what you do, okay? You know your behavior was not, uh, it was not right, okay? So if you guys are wondering um, what happened, okay, with the situation, just know that you got yourself involved with a person who uh, was just not the greatest, okay? Or who also uh, was sent to you or put in your life to teach you a lesson. You might not have uh, recently done anything. Maybe you guys are trying to repent or uh, redeem yourself for your past mistakes and your past, uh, I would say, harmful behavior towards others. You're trying to figure out, you know, like, what did I do to deserve this? Just know that. Maybe somewhere in your in your past life, maybe somewhere in your past, you've done something wrong, and this person 
uh, which sent to you, serve you some sort of karma, okay? So take this as a lesson and just, you know, let it be what it be. <laughs> let, 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 just, yeah, it is what it is. It's just, just let it go, okay? Don't try to seek revenge because um, even that will not end well, okay? Sometimes we're sent uh, certain people, okay? We come across certain people or we uh, experience certain circumstances to teach us lessons that we must learn, okay? We really must learn on a soul level. Okay, so if you lost money or you lost a love, this was definitely uh, the universe sending you karma, okay? And I'm not saying it to be insensitive, but someone definitely needs to hear this, okay? Yeah, devil in disguise, dressed in all white, swear you, so down, think I'm the supposed to ride, think I'm supposed to ride. You done told me I should be only one around talking about you make it my way made it my way made it my way yeah i think i gotta run boy <laughs> you don't want to be telling me yeah take me to your mama house yeah i'm definitely seeing that um if you guys are the person to bring this person uh karma or your person your friend karma um they trusted you okay on, on a really uh deep level they really thought this was gonna turn out to be something that they uh could brag about something they could finally feel some sort of comfort okay stability and peace and they found out that the, the hard way that uh you guys weren't in it like they were okay but um yeah you definitely did your job okay you definitely brought this person some sort of karma uh take what storyline you guys uh feel fit okay this isn't going to resonate with everyone but yeah, I, yeah, it's it's a reason why I had to stop before I worked out. Um, I stopped on this song. It just it, yeah, it definitely touched me, and it's crazy how everything just you know flowed out naturally. So yeah, you guys, thank you so much for stopping by for battling with me, um, for watching, and I will see you guys maybe a little later on. I'll say this week, maybe this weekend. Um, if not this weekend, I'll, I'll see you guys next Monday. Um, hopefully, um, when school starts for my son, I'll be able to start those personal readings. I saw a few people uh, request readings and stuff like that. And um, like I said, it's all about time, okay? Let me get the time. Let me make the time for you guys, okay? To give you guys exactly what you are asking for, exactly what you guys are needing, okay? So thank you again for watching, for that with me, and I will see you guys next time. Mm -hmm. Bye.